Indian education has faced challenges ranging from quality of education to the cost of providing it. Technology has managed to provide some answers, if not all. Technology is really, really amazing. Only thing is the opportunity to apply them in different fields is still evolving. And that's the reason I wanted to come and address this education institution to inspire and motivate the youngsters to creatively think. They are, they are not biased at all. Their minds are open. They can think of what else can be used and how well we could transform the society. It's one thing to say, you know, this technology clearly works better than this technology. I mean, that happens once in a while, and people have debates all the time. Is my iPhone better than my Android phone? You know, and that boils down to maybe a matter of personal preference. I, I think this sort of debate is incredibly healthy because no matter how right I think I might be, somebody is going to say something and I say, my gosh, I, I haven't thought about it. That's, that's a good point. Any advancement like this depends on people with different points of view. It's not that they have a different degree of knowledge than I do or that you know they're smarter or I'm smarter. It's not a, it's not a competition. People feel very strongly about these things because I, I think the stakes are high in a, in, a, in a philosophical sense and in a practical sense. So of course there are going to be discussions and say, well, what about this? Have you thought about this? Good point. Let me, let me write that down. That's the way science always works. That's the way, frankly, te technological development works. Collaborations with global brands is also adding value here and some of them are designed to bring the Indian systems at par with global education plans. In some cases, special needs of students are met through these collaborative approaches as well. The idea that we could have a, a truly rewarding and, and, and equal partnership between America and India to, to address the, the problems and the challenges of, of people of different abilities is, is very intellectually stimulating, certainly, but it's, it's, more, it's gratifying on a human level, uh, especially at a, maybe at a time in history when, when people are more aware of, of antagonisms or, or, or tensions between peoples, to find a cause to bring people together in the service of others it's very gratifying. Today we have produced large number of books for NCRT, 9th grade, 10th grade, science and maths. Unfortunately, we didn't bring it here, we could have showed you. If you come to our lab, we can show it to you. So these books are used by a number of students, you know, 40, 50 children in blind school. So this 9th grade students who actually used this book, they were so insistent we should get the 10th books before we start 10th. And that gives a huge, huge thrill. Our our staff had to work overtime to produce the books for them. Increased use of data and analytics technologies provide certain distinctive advantages to its better assimilation. However, much needs to be done to pull higher education to world levels. So what do experts see as the biggest challenges in implementing changes in higher education? How do we actually make these innovators look at technology-based solutions for innovation? How do we create jobs or how do we create companies which actually rely on the technology? And that's a, quite a bit of a challenge. How can they have the right skills so that they are employable in industry right away? The engineering education itself is transforming in the manner that it's going more towards an outcome-based education system. And uh, we see institutes wanting to adopt outcome-based education methodologies more and more so that they can remain connected and remain um, on the leading edge of education. The right approach, adoption of the right technologies and right collaborations can actually be the strongest strategies for lifting the standards of education in India. On one hand, we think that coaching classes prepare these students for to enter this and students really go through a very you know intense preparation for two years three years sometimes even four years to prepare for these exams especially if they are to come to a place like IIT Delhi but this process also in some sense has a negative impact on their innovative cap capability because looking at a process of education as a single exam so they just really focus on being able to solve they're not looking around they get more disconnected with the society, they get more disconnected with challenges that the society faces. And these are huge issues and those corrections have to be done before they graduate.